Okay, so now we're going to uh, model some bowls and some plates. So first of all, I'll bring in the image. So, and I know that these guys are 13 centimeters around. So let's grab my ruler. So um, I need to. I know that they're six centimeters tall, like so. Thirteen wide, six tall. So move that into position. Just push it back a bit so it goes behind the grid there. it up. Bit hard to tell on this perspective, but that's okay. And quickly grab those guys and group them together command G and then I'm going to rotate that group like so so it's on the side grab the outliner grab that second Thirteen. Grab the group, move it over, and just need to scale it up a little bit more. Okay. So that looks about right. Just move this guy over. Finding it hard to see him. There we go. It's 13. So I'll just hide the ruler now and grab my template, throw him into a new layer. And away we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little bit differently to what we did before. Um, and that is, let's uh, start with the, the bowl. And yeah, we're gonna start with, even though it's, it's still box modeling, but we're using a cylinder. I'm just going to, I 
object mode and what I want to do is create the profile of the bottom of the bowl and then I'm going to start extruding it and going up to create the rest of the bowl okay So you can see it's kind of like this guy here. Uh, it's going to have to come forward, isn't it? There we go. That's better. So we can see it. Let's see the sort of size. Just giving it a r rough um, estimation there. Okay. Check it into wireframe mode. It's probably a bit smaller than that. Probably starts off about there. Okay. So, pretty similar to what we did before in that we're going to select the vertices in the middle control right click and go to face to face and then that selects all our faces around the edge we could if we want just select each face one at a time like so or what I tend to do as well is just go in and marquee select all those faces and then shift marquee unselect the ones that I don't want that works as well okay so with this we're going to start extruding out it's going to hide the grid don't need that for now and I'm going to extrude that up and start to move it out. So move it out and move it up. Just so you can see it a bit better. G reactivates the tool. Move it up. Scale it out. G like so. Now Let's have a look at that. It's looking pretty good. Bring back the grid. Now, let's bring back the template. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I might just use these guys to block it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Okay, six centimeters tall. Right, these guys. Let's bring back that template. And yeah, it's on a different angle, but we can get the some information out of it that we want, like the the di diameter through there. Here we're just sort of estimating.
good to me. Oops. Just made it a little bit wonky by accidentally going through and scaling it not on all axes. So I'm just going to do that again, making sure that I use the middle to scale. So get the distortion going through. So now you can see that they're all uh, even, especially from the top. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And I might even use that as a bit of a template for the other objects. So I'm just going to add it to a layer and then duplicate the object by command D and then hide the one on the layer keep that for the time being and then remove one of them from that layer so I've got two ones on the layer and ones I'm working with And that's going to be the other plates. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Um, and it's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is go in, grab this guy again, to face to face, select all him, and I'm going to start to create the inner aspects of it. So going to world view, it doesn't really matter but it's just easier to see a little bit. Like so. G extrude down. It's probably easier to do it from the side here. And scale that in to basically match G extrude down, scale it in. Okay. Alright, so there is my bowl, um, which we'll work on in a little bit. And yeah, let's. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to duplicate that bowl and utilize that for my plate as well. So plate, same idea, except for we're going to take those guys, drag them down, okay, drag it right down, and scale that out. And I think the the bases of the plate. It's probably a bit bigger too, so go through, whoops, double clicking on that ring as well as the second ring and then scale them out. They're probably a bit smaller as well, like so. That uh, looks pretty good. Just turn off the uh, see-through for a second. That's looking okay. Looks like I've flattened that out a little bit too much. So bring that up. And we can add a bit of extra detail as we go in a bit. But... Um, Looking pretty good.
happy with that. Just uh, have a look. Whoops. Let's go into object mode. Drag it over. If I use the X key, it should snap to the grid. In the center looks pretty good. Let's go back over here. Not quite center. Look at that, even almost lines up. And the next plate is even easier because it's a straight duplication of that. And then scale up. And probably just to make it a bit flatter. As well as bringing those vertices up a little bit too.